you've been on this amazing journey building the new business over the last few years. You had a very particular vision for mm -hmm. the kind of business you wanted to build. Where are you on delivering against that vision? How mm. far through it are you? Well, I think you know, if it was a you know, baseball analogy, probably in the sort of first or second innings, I mean, it's a long, long way to go. So we're now, what is four years in, and we have, um, what, 33,000, um, sorry, 33,000, 33 countries. Actually, it's 32, because we've come out of Russia. We have 9,000 people in 32 countries. Um, we're about 60% um, in North and South America, maybe a bit more, about two thirds in North and South America. Uh, about 20% in EMEA and 10% in Asia Pacific. We were about in content about 60%, data and digital media about 30%, and what we call technology services 10%. Um, Client-wise, you know, our biggest client is Google. Uh, second biggest client is NDA, a big telecoms company. You can probably guess who it is. Third is Meta. Uh, fourth is BMW Mini. Uh, fifth is Mondelez. Uh, then uh, sixth is HP, seventh is uh, another NDA FMCG, uh, which recently became a client, will be, be a whopper as we call it in fairly short order. Then an NDA uh, financial services institution, that's number eight, uh, which is, which is going to be even bigger for us next year. And then nine, ten, eleven, Amazon, T-Mobile, PayPal. So, those, so about 50% of our client base is tech. Um, measure of uh, sort of penetration of the new model, you know, which is a disruptive model, the aim to create a new model and disrupt the old, the old having been in existence really for about 70 years since Marion Harper and IPG. Um, there are four dynamics to what we're doing or four sort of pillars. One is digital only because that's where the growth is. Secondly is a data driven model that drives the creation of content and distribute through digital media. Uh, going to market is faster, better, cheaper, which is about agility, understanding of the digital ecosystem and efficiency. And then last but not least, most importantly, probably a unitary structure. So one operating brand, media.monks, uh, which operates all of our operations in the three practices and in the three geographies, the geographies being the, the Americas, EMEA and Asia Pacific. So that's where we are. Um, where we like to be is to get great, greater conversion at scale, which means we call them whoppers, but we, we've, got, we've got now got eight clients at $20 million of revenue, over 20 million. Last year we did about $900 million of revenue. This year we're, we're sort of forecast by analysts to be about 1.2, 1.3 billion, so 25% organic growth rate. We did 34% in the first quarter. Obviously everybody's very focused. The market doesn't, the stock market certainly don't believe the holding companies who, who say they're going to grow at 5 to 6% this year, mm. we're, we're saying 25%, but we're in the digital space. They're, in the, they're sort of constrained by the analog space. Um, the, the big thing for us, the, the, getting to the heart of your question, is demonstrating conversion at scale. So we have an objective of 20 squared, that is 20 clients for $20 million or so of revenue. Uh, I would, we've identified a further 19 beyond the eight that we already have, which we think have the capability of getting to 20. They're all in the 10 to 15 to 20 million dollar range. So I think we've got about five clients that are sort of tipping on the, on the edge. So I think uh, we, one hopes by the time we get to the end of our, what's well, going to be our fourth three-year plan, which is 22 to four. Each of our three-year plans have been to double the company, which is a 25% organic growth rate. Uh, hope by 24 we'll have got to our 20 squared objective. So it's a pretty amazing run in terms well, of attracting ama those. Amazing run. I mean, we've been solid. We're in the we're in the sweet spot. I mean, the holding companies have a, a drag down. You know, the albatross around their neck is analog. Um, they they forecast. I mean, their media groups are forecasting 8% growth for the market, they are growing as a group five to six, so sub-market, which is a bit, is a bit odd that your media group forecasts that the market's <laughs> going 8%, you're only oh. going to grow at five to six. But they have the, the mix, they're probably about two thirds analog, which is at naught to 5% this year. And, and then one third digital, which is forecast, even post 
the drop in GDP forecast and the drop in advertising forecast, you know, probably digital this year is going to be 10 to 15 percent. So t when you go in to talk to the Whoppers, why are they choosing to work with you? What is it about the capabilities Well, I think it gets offering? to the faster, better, cheaper, faster, better agility, which is right. the key attribute that clients have got to have and agents have got to have. Better means understanding the digital ecosystem, which is the the three big Western platforms. So it's, that's Alphabet, it's Meta, it's Amazon. You know, Amazon are here. Uh, at the at the show uh, for the probably for the first time in terms of the ads plat platform, they did 31 billion last year. G Google did 215 last year billion uh, in terms of ad revenues. Facebook 115. Digital was 450 last year out of the global media market 750. So the answer you know, to your question is agility is key. Understanding the ecosystem, the, the Chinese ecosystem around Alibaba, Tencent and now increasingly TikTok and ByteDown, which is the only one that's really broken through the big platforms. Twitter, Snap, Pinterest are all sort of five, mm. six billion dollars and Pinterest even less. So they really, in scale, TikTok is the only one to have broken through to the other big five. And so better is understanding the digital ecosystem. And uh, cheaper is about efficiency, which, which in an uh, inflationary world is going to become even more important. So in the past, you've yeah. spoken about Google and Facebook as the frenemy, and mm. you argued A lot that was a long time ago, actually. 2016, I think. Advertisers at the time, you said, would like to see a more competitive online marketplace. Do we now have that more competitive marketplace? Um, I, I think as a result of what we've seen, I mean, the geopolitical tensions, that, that finally governments are understanding that having a strong digital ecosystem or technological ecosystem is really important. If you think about defense and spending on defense uh, or even offense, um, you know, when the Germans spend 4% of GDP on defense, they're going to be spent investing a lot in technology. So I think governments are starting to realize that to be successful as a nation from a Know, from an economic point of view and security point of view, a strong tech ecosystem is really important. And that's two things. That's one, having strong big companies, and it means having a strong surrounding them, but a very strong ecosystem. So I think, um, I think life has changed. I mean, uh, with the Chinese, for example, the government, you know, having jumped on private education, have jumped on gaming, having jumped on, on some of the social consequences of social media, it's starting to pull back a bit, maybe because of the, the, the softness in the economy and the rise in unemployment, youth unemployment in particular in China, uh, or for the, for the reasons we're just talking about around you know, defense. Uh, I think governments are starting to understand that, uh, and then the, the, uh, the importance of technology, and then the technology companies themselves, when they hit one trillion, two trillion, three trillion dollars, of uh, market cap, which is equivalent, you know, three trillion. When Apple hit tr three trillion, that, you know, that's equivalent almost to the size of Germany or Japan, if you equate GDP with market cap. So I, th I think I think there's a new sort of a little bit of a new age, a, a new dawning of reality of the importance of tech. So th the other part of that new age is probably the more angry or heated debate about what some people talk about as surveillance capitalism. That debate about the use of data. Yeah, but that's data. moderated. I mean, the, 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 the fears around brand safety, about privacy, consented data, interference in elections. I mean, what's happened is there's been more regulatory uh, involvement. And at the same time, the, the companies involved, basically the six big platforms who dominate the, the industry and the digital industry, they've realized that with with size and with power comes responsibility. So they're doing more. You know, they are moderating the content in the sense of looking at it uh, and controlling it. They're investing. I mean, Facebook, I think, has, what, 20 or 30,000 people who are uh, monitoring content. 